Hey, it's Alex here from AlexFergus.com. Now, if you're looking at getting a Sunstream Evolve Infrared Sauna, uh, and you're tossing up between the two-man Evolve 20, which I've reviewed here um, on my channel before, or the smaller, lower-priced Evolve Mini, which is the one-man sauna, which I have here on my left, then this video is gonna help you make an informed decision and find the right sauna for your needs. Uh, so be sure to stick around. We're gonna compare these two saunas uh, over a bunch of metrics. However, if you're, if you're short on time and you just want to cut straight to the chase, then here's my uh, takeaway on, 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 after using these saunas for a couple weeks now, pretty much it comes down to two things, budget and space. If you have the space and you have the budget, go with the slightly more expensive, slightly larger two-man Evolve 20. If you're tight on budget and or tight on space, then the Evolve Mini is your most uh, suitable option. Both of these saunas are great saunas, well built, awesome materials, low EMF, super healthy, no toxins, you know, nothing, nothing damaging, uh, you're not exposing your body to any harmful radiation or toxins, which is great. Um, so it pretty much just comes down to what you can afford and uh, how much space you have in your home. First things first, let's look at size. Now here I've got the Evolve 20. The Evolve 20 is a two-man sauna, it's designed for two people, uh, however you can use it on your own of course and this is what I have been doing for the last six months or so as this has been my go-to sauna. Um, the extra space does make things a little bit more comfortable in there. I'm going to go jump in there and you can um, see me sit inside it. You have much more leg room, you can move and slightly recline. Um, there's plenty of space for books, iPad, laptop, <coughs> accessories that you may use. I'm 16, I can just stand up. I'm in my head ever so slightly. Um, there's a nice big spacious door to get in. Like I said, plenty of room to move around. It comes with um, two backrests. I often set them on the corner. So you can sit in here and uh, put your feet up using the movable L bench which I have here so if you're using this sauna on your own it is quite a spacious sauna um, but it's not overly big it's not I, I have had a three-man sauna in the past the downside with the three-man sauna is it takes a while to heat up which is something we're going to look at um, later in this video series and compare the two of them on, on time to heat up um, it uses a lot more power the bigger you go uh, more expensive to run and of course you need more space yeah that's the Evolve 20 like I said a good size for single for people who want to use it on their own but occasionally like to use it for someone with someone else if you're planning on using the sauna with two people all the time you may even want to look at the larger you know uh, three-man uh, evolve range but I'm not going to talk about that here today let's go have a look at the uh, evolve mini and how that compares all right so next to me eight now I have the evolve mini now this is the smallest sauna uh, in the sunstream range it may even be the smallest sauna uh, infrared sauna that you can get that isn't the uh the dome lie down on the ground ones that i personally don't um, find too appealing to use anyway as you can see quite a small door here um it isn't even as high as the uh, evolve 20 so i can't stand up so i'm going to stand right next to it here and i'm out of shot but i'm slightly taller than it so you can't stand up in this one you can in the evolve mini uh sorry in the evolve 20 which i was just previously in one thing I should mention, if you are considering either of these saunas, I have done comprehensive reviews on my blog and YouTube channel on both the Evolve 20 and the Evolve Mini. This video, I just want to make uh, more of a comparison, comparing the, the key features. So if you are looking at one of these saunas, go check those re uh, video reviews out later on as well. All right, let's go have a look inside. So as you can see, it was quite a tight fit getting in. It's quite a narrow door. Every time I get in, it is a little bit, uh, I don't know, um, a bit of a squish. But you manage. One thing I will mention though, um, when you're getting out, and this sauna is, you know, 65 degrees, um, I am always a little bit nervous that I'm going to touch the panels here and uh, burn myself. Of course, we do have the protection um, wooden slats, which come off um, the panels, which allow you to clean the panels and in fact allow you to have more uh, surface area exposure um, if you want that. That feature is also on the Evolve 20. Um, but you can't stand up. I am hitting my head there with 
my knee's still bent. Um, there is not much room to move around in. Um, if I want to bring a book in, I've got to sit it on my lap or push it off to the side. There's no room to place a laptop or anything. Uh, you could sit an iPad, I guess, on the wall. Um, it does come with the backrest. If I have a choice in terms of space, the Volve 20 is always a nicer one to sit in because like I said, you can bring books, laptops, phone, you've got space, you can put your feet up. You can't put your feet up in here. Uh, I've tried squishing in and putting my knees uh, up on the bench. It is a, quite a tight fit and you know, it wasn't very comfortable. My wife did it for a little bit longer and she didn't mind it. She's a lot smaller than I. But again, if you want that leg room, the Evolve 20 or something bigger is going to be your, um, your go-to sauna. All right, now we're in the sauna. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna focus more on the differences between the sauna and the Evolve 20. I don't wanna look at the features because I've done that in the re dedicated review. So check that out first and then come back and watch this review series. Now, both of these saunas use 360 degree um, heater panels, though technically you're missing out on a little bit of sauna um, infrared coverage on your left leg here as there, are no, there is no panel on the door. If you look up top you can hopefully see there are panels under my feet panels on the side panels behind me um, panels behind my knees oh that was a good shot on my back but yeah nothing on this pane here of glass if we look over to the evolve 20 you can see that there are panels all around and that greenish color on the door there is also another panel. So you are getting a little bit more coverage. Uh, you've got side panels um, going right off to the side of the wall there as well. So you are getting a little bit more coverage in the Evolve 20 than you are in the Evolve Mini. Not a huge amount, but you know, again, this is a comparison video, so I wanna point everything out. Um, what else? In here you have the control panel, which looks just the same as the Evolve 20. Uh, one difference that we have in here, we have two speakers. However, these are just generic brands, uh, branded speakers. They aren't as good as the Evolve 20. The Evolve 20 has Kenwood speakers uh, with Bluetooth functionality. This also has Bluetooth functionality. But if you really like your music, um, or well, you're gonna be doing a lot of listening to movies or something. The Volve 20 does have a slightly better speaker setup. You also notice up the roof here, once I turn that light off, you have the speakers, an air vent, and one central light. Now, if you look over to the Volve 20, you have the speakers, an air vent, one, two lights, and then also that big square or rectangle light in the middle, which is your chromotherapy light. I don't have the remote with me in here, but what that does is um, allows you to change colors from red to greens to blues, yellows, um, and benefit from chromotherapy. Um, this isn't, they aren't high powered lights. You know, you're not gonna get red light therapy benefits, photobiomodulation benefits that you would from, you know, a platinum biomax light. Um, but it is, it is nice for uh, mood lighting, um, you know, uh, for atmosphere, uh, you know, I, I typically have it on an orange or a reddish kind of hue, uh, turn the brightness down if I'm using it in the evening, daytime, I might just have it on, on white or yellow um, for more brightness if I'm reading a book. Uh, in here, of course, you're not getting the L bench, foot, be foot rest bench, there's simply no space for it. I'm sure you could uh, purchase it if you wanted to and squish it in there, but hey, there's not really much sense. You are getting the cedar backrest, which is handy. Um, I think that's really it. But yeah, the main thing is size. It's not so small that my shoulders are hitting the panels, um, the, the walls, I mean. It's actually quite a cool sauna. I, I have done a lot of sessions in here and sometimes I will jump in here instead of the Evolve 20 when both I have either option. Why is that? Because this heats up so much faster. Um, and that's what we're gonna look at next in this video series. But both saunas are very intense. There's no issues there in terms of, you know, you're not sitting in there thinking, oh, it's not hot enough or I'm not sweaty enough. Not an issue at all. However, the smaller sauna, this Evolve Mini, does heat up a little bit faster. Um, from a wattage point of view, the Evolve 20 does have uh, a higher wattage uh, draw. It's got more uh, bigger 
panels and um, you know there's more power going to those panels however because this is such a smaller space this heats up a lot faster um, one other thing I mentioned both of the saunas have the intensity button so you can change the intensity from 50 percent 75 or 100 percent all right let's just go talk about power so when we're looking at power the Evolve Mini draws 1390 watts the larger Evolve 20 the two-man sauna here draws 2060 watts now obviously it's a lot lot more power however um it is a bigger sauna and it has a larger space to heat up if you are conscious about you know maybe electricity costs are really high or you're on an off-grid system you know then obviously a smaller sauna is going to be more beneficial here the interesting thing to note though is sunstream have done a power concentration calculation now that looks at the power per um, area inside the sauna the sun uh, evolved mini calculation comes out to be 41.4 watts per cubic foot the Evolve 20 is 34.8 watts per cubic foot so what that means is the power is concentrated in a much smaller area in, in this one um, what I'm going to look at next is I'm going to look at the time to heat up because you know if, if you have used a sauna before you know someone that uses infrared saunas it's not just a matter of turning them on and jumping in you need a bit of lead time for the sauna to heat up of course you can jump in but you're going to be sitting there for 15-20 minutes as the sauna heats up so that can be a bit of an issue you know if you're if you're if it's evening time you've had dinner dinner and you think oh, it'd be nice to have a sauna but then you got to account for that 20-30 minutes for it to heat up and then you forget about it and then all of a sudden the night's over and you're like oh that was a waste so from my own experience this Evolve Mini heats up a lot faster than the Evolve 20 but I'm going to quantify it exactly now and we're going to see what the temperature is after 10-15 minutes of running these saunas and um, yeah, just see how it goes uh, and what else we're we going to look at we're also going to look at uh, the accessories included in the saunas materials used and finally price all right I'm going to do a time to heat up test so we're going to start with the Evolve 20 here uh, I'm going to set that on 100% power 60 minutes and set the temperature right up at the moment it is at 23 degrees so we're going to come back in 10 15 minutes and see what the temperature is inside all right it's just ticked on to 49 so we're just over 10 minutes in uh 10 minutes in it was at 35 degrees so it's gone up 13 degrees we'll do another 10 minutes all right, so 20 minutes is up and we're at 43 degrees. I just saw it flick up to 44. So 43, 44 degrees after 20 minutes. All right, I've given the room an hour to cool down and uh, now we're gonna do the same test with the Evolve Mini here. All right, so let's set to 100% intensity and the starting temperature is 23 degrees. So slightly higher than the uh, Evolve. 20 was. Alright, so we'll check back in 10 minutes and then 20 minutes. Alright, 20 minutes is up and as you can see there we're at 57 degrees. So there we go, that is a pretty epic performance. We started at 20 degrees in the Volvo Mini. After 10 minutes we're at 43 degrees, which is the same temperature the Volvo 20 was at after 20 minutes. So um yeah, like I said, this thing is, is hot and it's intense and it heats up very, very fast. After 20 minutes, you're at 57 degrees. So, as I was saying earlier, like this, the, the Volvo Mini is a great sauna if you are someone who is quite time poor and, you know, it's often your sauna sessions are last minute, like, hey, I'll jump in the sauna now, versus someone who, you know, always has it as a certain time of the day. Like, maybe you like having your saunas for, when you get up in the morning and you get up and you do some stretching and then um, prepare, I don't know, your lunch or your breakfast and then you do your sauna session, you know, that's fine. You can, the Evolve 20 would be great because you turn it on as soon as you get up and 20, 30 minutes later, it's ready. Um, but for me, I, a, lot, a lot of the times my sessions, because I work from home and have a farm to look after and a company and a little boy and all sorts going on, a lot of the times my sessions are very last minute, like, hey, I've got 45 minutes up my sleeve, I'm gonna do a sauna session, which is why um, that rapid heat, not heat up time is very very cool with the Evolve Mini and it's why I have been using this a lot of the times instead of the Evolve 20. Now if you've watched my review videos on these saunas before 
you will know that these saunas are what I regard to be the healthiest uh, saunas on the market. Toxins, from a toxicity point of view, uh, they all use, um, they're all free of plywood, there's no plywood or anything like that particle board in these saunas, it is all 100% quality natural timber and the glue used is FDA approved food safe uh, glue. There is a slight difference with timbers though, so the Evolve 20 that I have here is made from basswood, or basswood. Uh, it is a slightly more premium timber, um, slightly lighter in color. The lighting isn't great in here, it's making this look a lot lighter than um, you know the sauna in the corner there. But it is a little bit more whiter or yellowish compared to the Evolve Mini, which is a hemlock. Now, Hemlock, even though the basswood is a more expensive timber, hemlock is probably the most commonly used uh, timber in saunas. So it's just as uh, just just as suitable, a really good timber. Slight color difference, like I said. What about price? Now, of course, the one-man sauna is going to be cheaper than the two-man sauna, but there is quite a big difference. The Evolve Mini here, two thousand one hundred and ninety-five US dollars. The Evolve Twenty, three thousand eight hundred and ninety-five dollars. Now those are current specials, uh, I'll put a link to the website below, sunstreamsaunas.com. Be sure to mention my name, Alex Fergus, you do get a special deal and you will be looked after. Uh, I do get a slight uh, kickback from that, however that does allow me to continue to do these videos and compare products like this. Um, but those prices are, you know, they're, they're very good prices, in fact you compare them to some other brands that I've used um, and they are you know, very, very competitive. So that is a $1,700 price difference between the Evolve Mini and the Evolve 20. And this is why at the start of the video I said it really does come down to two factors, space and budget. What I should mention as well, those prices I quoted before, they are current special. I don't know if they're gonna stay at that, that price. Um, so please don't quote me on those numbers. Uh, and also they don't include taxes and shipping. Uh, Sunstream shipped to North America and also Australia and New Zealand. There is a distributor in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, of course, you'll be paying local prices, uh, which I don't have with me at the moment. But you can, I'll put a link to the Australia and New Zealand site below. This is what I think. I have to write this down because there are quite a few points I'd like to make here. First things, two man versus one man. If you want a two man sauna, if you know you're going to be doing a, your sauna sessions with someone else, um, or you like your sauna session to be a social occasion, then it's a no brainer. Evolve 20. I mean, you're not going to fit two people in the Evolve Mini. Even the slightly larger Evolve 10, it's a one man sauna. So, the other three things to look at to consider are budget, space, and time. Alright, so, like I said, if you, if you want a two man sauna, get the two man sauna. Budget. If you can afford a two-man sauna, I think you should go with Evolve 20. Uh, yes, it is about $1,700, $1,800 more, um, but if you're using it on a frequent basis, uh, you know, you're going to get your money's worth. Plus, it's a much bigger, nicer sauna to be in. You can stretch out, you can put your feet up, you can put books down there, a laptop, and if on the odd occasion someone wants to jump in, hey, you can do that. Uh, the other thing is space. If you have the space, Again, the Volve 20, it's, it's the um, obvious option. I've got a three, four bedroom home here, we've got a spare room where I can set these up, you know, I've got two spawners, right? I can do that. Um, the third thing I want to talk about though is time. Now, if you're a very busy, very rushed, uh, someone who doesn't really have a lot of structure in their day-to-day -day life and, and um, you know, you'd like to get a few sauna sessions in, but the thought of having to have it warm up for 20-30 minutes before you can get in it, it's just going to be a deal breaker, then you really have to look at some of the smallest, smallest one of the Volvo Mini. Um, and it's something that I have found myself, I am actually doing more sauna sessions now that I have the Volvo Mini in my home than I was doing with the Volvo 20. And that is because after 10 minutes, we're at 43 degrees, whereas 10 minutes of this heating up, we're only at 35. These are um, Celsius degrees. So, 43, you can get in there, you're going to start sweating straight away. 35, it's warm, but you still got to wait that other 10 minutes to get up to the 43. In 20 minutes, we're at 56, 57 degrees in here. Like that, that's hot. You know, you're getting that in straight away. It's like, cool, game on. So I've found, knowing that about this sauna, 
There's been numerous times lately where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna quickly squeeze in a quick sauna session, even if it's only 20 minutes. I mean, 10, 15 minutes to heat up, 20 minutes in this sauna, five, 10 minutes to cool down or like to have a shower afterwards. The whole thing's done in 40 minutes, right? From from the moment where you think I'm gonna have a sauna to you had a shower and you're relaxing or going to bed, 45 minutes. With this one, you really need that whole hour. 20 minutes to get, um, up to the hot enough temperature, 43 degrees, and even then it's not ideal. You really want half an hour to get it up to temperature. Uh, you know, 20, 30 minutes in the sauna, you have five, 10 minutes to clean up. You know, you've got over an hour, and that's from the moment where you decide I wanna have a sauna to the, to the clean up, you're all done. So it's something to factor um, in the equation when you're making decision here. Now it would be really cool to test the Evolve 10 and see how that compares from a heat up time point of view, because if that was, as quick as this um, and your budget could stretch then you may say well that's a better option because you get a bit more space and a bit more of a nicer build. If your budget can't stretch, if your budget sits around that $2,000, $2,500 mark then Evolve Mini because otherwise you're spending three and a bit for the Evolve 20. If you're tight on space, maybe you live in an apartment or maybe you've only got a little house with one spare room and that's a guest room and there's already lots of stuff in it. Uh, or maybe you're in a two story place and you've got a perfect little nook under a stairwell or a, a large cabinet even, um, wardrobe. This will fit in all sorts of spaces. Uh, and you can see in some of the photos here where people have put the uh, Evolve Mini into their homes. Like it is very small, it's a very small footprint you compare that to the Evolve 20, you know, you're taking up a lot more space there. So if space is an issue, um, again, then Evolve Mini, I mean, it's an obvious choice. And then finally, if you know you're someone who, when you want to do a sauna, it'll be a spare of the moment, hey, let's do a sauna session, uh, you may seriously have to rethink the Evolve Mini over the Evolve 20, just because you can get it up to speed so much faster. I know I'm repeating myself here, but these are the things you need to weigh out. For me, in my situation, uh, which one would I choose? Like, if I had to get rid of one? I don't know. I really don't know, because it is nicer being in the Evolve 20. I can put my feet up, I can have my magazines and newspapers in there. But then this heats up so quick. <laughs> and it's, um, it's nice to have as well. And I know I do more sauna sessions with this in the house than I was doing with that. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just keep both. You know, when I when I want to do a quick sauna session, go to this one. When I'm a bit more organized, go to that one. And there's lots more information and some really neat pictures over at sunstreamsaunas.com as well. I'll put a link below. Check out those photos because you can see, uh, you know, different angles and I've taken photos with some of the walls off so you can see how it would look, you know, with one person or two people in there. I highly recommend checking them out. Of course, speak to um, Kevin or Mark uh, directly at Sunstream and they can help you with your needs, your budget, you know, your space. Um, so get on the phone or send them an email. Be sure to mention that you have watched this video so then that will give them a bit of an understanding of where you're at and, and what you've seen. And be sure to check out the other videos on my channel because I have a dedicated review of the Sunstream Evolve 20 and I've also got a dedicated review of the Sunstream Evolve Mini. So you may want to watch them as well to help make a more informed decision. I've also got videos where I test the EMF levels, uh, have infrared sauna bioguide video, and all sorts of other videos. So check them out, hit subscribe, leave any questions or comments below, and I hope I haven't bored you to death. There was a lot I wanted to cover here, and I'm going to sign out, and I'm going to jump in one of these saunas since they're so hot, and um, do a quick session myself. Alright guys, bye.